dear students of primary school ganai mohla kam chhua first of all assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh today's topic is about parts of speech in previous lecture we discussed in detail what does parts of speech mean now today we will discuss and we will learn how many parts of speech are there there are mainly eight parts of speech number 1 noun if i will tell you what is noun whether you know or not but most of the students will answer me sir noun is the name of person place or a thing etc but today i will tell you that in short definition that is noun is a naming word i mean to say that in this universe we find different nouns around us we see universe universe is itself a noun we see nature nature is also a noun we see tree that is noun any plant that is noun a garden that is noun road hospital school your teacher who teaches you so we can say that anything in the universe is called noun whether we will talk about place we will talk about thing we will talk about any person but these nouns are later classified in different categories that is not our topic today our topic is about parts of speech we will have to discuss all the definitions of parts of speech in coming lectures we will discuss about common noun proper noun abstract noun material noun concrete noun etc i will give some examples again book pen tree plant door window garden playground kitchen bathroom toilet washing room house home birds animals these are all nouns 
now another part of speech is pronoun in a short definition we can say that a pronoun is a word that is used instead of noun i mean to say that pronoun noun ke badle istemal hota hai while we will talk about a person instead of person we will use he if we talk about a girl we will use she if we talk about a thing we will use it talk about a place we will uh, we will use it so instead of noun we can use these pronouns there are many pronouns nominative pronouns possessive pronouns and objective pronouns if i will give you an example here i am a teacher i he is here a first person pronoun you are a student second person pronoun he is a boy third person pronoun these are nominative pronouns which i am going to which i am using here possessive pronouns this is my book ye meri kitab hai my this my is here possessive pronoun this is his book his is here possessive pronoun this is your school your is here possessive pronoun this work is done by me me is here word objective pronoun so these pronouns are used instead of noun sita is a girl instead of sita we will use she she is a girl these are some examples about pronoun but if we talk here about the chart of pronouns we can say that i my me mine you you are you we our us he his him she her her they their them these are some examples of pronoun now number third is verb the most important unit in english grammar that is verb what what is verb a verb is a word that denotes action or we can say that an action showing verb in english in english grammar in other books whether it is science it is social science it is any other general knowledge book you which book you you may read you will read there you will find thousands of verbs without a verb a sentence is incomplete for example i go to school main school jata hu the word go is here a verb the go denotes here action i am eating food main khana kha raha hu the word is going that is here action verb action word i am is here this auxiliary verb here i will give another example i play cricket main cricket khelta hu 
the word place here it it denotes action dear students in next video lectures or audio lectures 